Human rights groups and independent activists are raising the alarm over the rising number of atrocities allegedly committed by the Malian army as well as the French military assisting it. Government forces are accused of multiple executions without trial or due process, while reports are emerging of French airstrikes that have resulted in civilian deaths. Paris launched its combat mission in Mali almost three weeks ago under the banner of rooting out Islamic insurgency in the northwest African state. Lude Vanus, the international consultant, former deputy speaker of the Belgian parliament, uh, joins me live to discuss this further. Now, Mali is one of the poorest states in the world. Do you think investigations and criminal procedures are just too much to ask for? I think, I mean, it's too early to tell because all the data are not yet in, but what I hear now is hardly surprises me. I mean, first of all, the Malian army does hold a grudge against the people who ousted them from the northern part of the country. And secondly, these soldiers are very low paid and have very little uh, armaments, etc. As a, a, they are not really a regular army in that sense. As you say, Mali is a very destitute country. I mean, and it's always the same tragedy. This country needs support. Yes, this country needs our help. But why is it that this help only comes in the form of military invasions? That's a basic question you, we should ask ourselves. We spoke to an activist inside Mali who says that innocent people are being accused of terrorism and killed by the Malian army. But just how easy is it to determine real terrorists? I think it's almost impossible. As we just mentioned, there's hardly a, a, hardly a state apparatus functioning. How can you register people and, and examine what they do? You can't. You just can't in a country like that. So the only or thing you can do correctly is, if you think people might be terrorists, is hold them uh, and arrest them and detain them. What you certainly will do is, is, is this kind of extrajudicial executions. But it hardly surprises me that this is going on right now. This was to be expected. Hundreds of European troops now are being deployed to the area for training purposes. Will that help improve the situation? I mean, uh, uh, it's, all, it's all a matter of training to do what? Is it training to help the, to develop the country or training to do even better what they are doing right now, to terrorize their own people? And no, I don't think so that, that this is going to help, no. There are also reports that a French airstrike has killed civilians. Uh, are we going to see more collateral damage in the fight against the Islamists in the region? Well, you just, that's something you take for granted when you start a war in, a, in an area like that, where there's no such thing as military installations where, where a guerrilla is operating. Of course, you're going to have collateral damage. I mean, it's, it's just a euphemism for terrorizing the people. Uh, you, can just, you cannot just go and bomb uh, a country like that uh, without knowing before you're going, that you're going to kill innocent civilians. I mean, uh, people who do that, who organize that, know that perfectly well. But uh, you see, they are there for other reasons. They are for reasons that are not uh, polite to pronounce. Words like gold or uranium. Those are the, I mean, it's also a matter of why is it exactly the former colonial power that should be assisting them. The United Nations did not ask Argentina or, or India to come there. France, why is that? Why were they there so fast? First of all, they were already in the area. And they were in Niger and Chad and other countries. And then the, 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 the second question that you ask yourself, why are they always there, the French troops? Well, it's, it's all to do with economic interests. Ethnic groups are also being persecuted. Both local citizens and the army are attacking the Tuaregs, accusing them of Al-Qaeda links. What role could they play in this conflict? But first of all, there's a, uh, to accuse the Tuareg uh, people of Al-Qaeda, that, that is just uh, stating for yourself that you do not know anything about the complexity of the, of the, of the region. The Tuaregs have been fighting for their own rights ever since they were uh, still colonized by the French and after independence. They are a totally separate group from Al-Qaeda in the Maghreb. Those, the, on the other hand, the Al-Qaeda in the Maghreb are exactly the people that we support in Libya and Syria. What is going on here? Lude Vanust, international consultant, former deputy speaker of the Belgian parliament. We thank you for your thoughts on this. Bye.